stuff and Kiki K was having a really big massive massive sale so I decided to pick up some extra little goodies. Um, this binder is super cute and it has like little mushrooms on it and I really loved it and this is what it looks like on the inside and it only has like the two ring prong thingies um, but I figured I can always just um, customize my paper for this so I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in here exactly yet but it's definitely gonna be like extra special and cute so yeah I really liked it and I like the little bookmarky thing here too you can like slip the white part out add something there so yeah and then for my next item, which of course I couldn't help but look at all this stuff, so forgive me. <laughs> Let's get this open. Yay! So I did go ahead and pick up these sticky notes from Kiki K and I really love these and these actually inspired me to make a video you guys are going to see very soon that's going to be planner related so I'm really excited for that and it's going to be a DIY um, and yeah I just thought they were cute so I figured because they're on sale why not so I decided to pick up the lilac Kiki K and I did actually pick up this super cute little kitty pen and I just thought this was adorable. It's just like a regular pen from what I can tell and this was also on sale so I had to get it because I just I thought this would look super cute in here and you guys know I'm all about my pens if you watch my other planner type videos. And this is what it looks like inside. I'm not going to do like a whole showing you guys of this because most of you guys have seen this but um, it's really cute. And I thought this was super cute. So yeah. I picked up this bad boy and um, I have the gold version right now so um, I might just alternate between these but I was thinking of actually making this my like project life planner so all things project life for this. And when I say project life I mean like things that inspire me for project life and things like that because I don't really plan like my actual project life pages so if you don't know what project life is check out some of my other videos and you guys will kind of get the gist of it um, but yeah so that's what I got from there it's kind of like a mini haul um, I just had to take advantage while they were having their sale and get this beauty and I have her little sister this is Luna and this is her little sister so um, I kind of just had to get him <laughs> This one I had already, like I've had this one for a while, so I kind of had to get this one because I just, they just look so pretty together. So, yeah, and if you watch my videos, you guys have seen my current one that I'm in right now, and to see like a full setup video on this, um, be sure and check the link in the description box below that I will leave for you guys. So now on to the rest of my haul. So I found the elusive washi tapes at TJ Maxx. They only had these two color combos. There's another teal one that I know of that I saw in one of the Facebook groups I'm in. So I was like, Meh. I wish I could have found that one as well. But I did pick up these and these were $3.99 and these were from TJ Maxx. And um, the rolls are smaller than like average rolls. See right there. And I am going to continue to look for more of these. They only had these two, so these are all I could get. But I am looking for another one because I have a friend who is looking for these. And so hopefully I can find those to send her in a little mini rack. Hi, Laura! So we'll see. Um, sometimes these are the kind of things that once they have them, they sell out and then you never find them again. So these are super cute. And you could totally use these in your planners whoopsie and your project life so yeah I would definitely check out your local um, TJ Maxx's or Marshall's and see if they have these if you get a chance to this is just the pink combo this is the black combo and these are all really pretty too and they're really versatile so you can use them to decorate your planners or whatever kind of craft projects you do they're really cute and just so you can see the difference between a regular sized washi roll and this washi roll this is a regular sized washi roll right here and this is the size that you get 
for this one so it's you still don't get a bad amount because this is like a massive amount of washi either way like it'll take it takes you forever to use these so this is not a bad size for $3.99 really so yeah just but just so you guys can see the difference regular size and then this one this is like a mini washi roll The next stuff I want to show you guys, I actually picked up from my friend Michelle Kinder's shop, and she's on Facebook. Some of you guys may or may not know her. I will leave the link to her shop in the description box below. And she has these awesome um, on-trend My Mind's Eye paper pads, which I am absolutely in love with. If you haven't seen these, they're beautiful. They're double-sided and they're gold foiled. And I'm pretty much obsessed with these. And these are going to be great for project life or even making some awesome file folder dividers for your planners. I mean, seriously. I'm thinking of actually using um, one of these to make some file folders inside my um, Kate Spade planner itself. I'm sorry about the background noise. Look how pretty that is. So yeah, just to give you guys an idea. It's really pretty. And that's from the On Trend collection, and I will leave links in the description box for you guys. Um, from that same collection, I also picked up this ephemera pack, and um, it's just really pretty. It has vellum pieces and gold. I'm not going to take all of it out right now, but this is everything that comes inside of it. And it's really pretty. You get a bunch of arrows, and it basically perfectly coordinates with this collection. So it's kind of like a must-have. Then I also picked up these super pretty gold glittery niche stickers from My Mind's Eye as well. Um, you guys know I'm obsessed with gold, so I had to get these. And these are from the Fancy That collection, and they're super pretty. Um, I'm going to definitely use these for project life, but you could also use these inside a planner or wherever you want. I mean, they're just gorgeous. And I had the intention of using these for Valentine's Day because I will have more spreads um, that are coming up soon for you guys as well. And then, of course, I had to get the Fancy That collection because pretty much my mind's eye um, <laughs> made everything I wanted this, this collection. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. It's pretty much super pretty. I love it. I mean, you guys know my obsession with gold and how far it goes. I mean, look how beautiful that is. That looks like a vintage like ceiling inside like an old like 1950s building or something. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. So of course I had to get that polka dots. It's like a peachy color. I don't know if, how well it picks up on camera, but it's super pretty. Love this too. It's like a confetti. I'm just pretty much obsessed with this. This black one too. Super pretty. So yeah, um, pretty much I recommend this whole collection. <laughs> Let me see if I skip through that. So yeah. I love it. I love this. It's almost like the paint chips going down in color. So yeah, this is another beautiful collection. And so this is going to get a lot of use inside my um, projects this month. And this was also from a Michelle Kinder's shop. So I'm going to put that in the links down below for you guys. On a random note, I picked this up from Joann's and it's like super pretty puffy stickers and it's from the Heidi Swap collection. And it doesn't have like a name per se, but it's super pretty and they're just some lovely puffy stickers. So I got these to also use in my project life. But like I said, everything in cra the craft world is kind of dual purpose. You can kind of use this for whatever you want. Then from Joann's, I also picked up these um, Teresa Collins like enamel dots and little stickers. I just thought they were really pretty and I really got this for the little enamel hearts. Um, I thought the stars were also super cute, but I tend to use some of the smaller sizes more than like these larger ones So really it was more for like this side of the package, but I couldn't beat it because they were 30% um, off. So yeah And then I also picked up um, This polka dot party collection from Project Life and it's from Dear Lizzie And I know I'm kind of late on the bandwagon for this because it's been out for a while So I'm not going to show you like the whole collection, but these are really pretty and they have really pretty designs and just to give you an idea, you guys know I love like the teals and the pinks in like kind of lighter colors. So I did decide to pick this up and it's just super duper pretty and it comes with these 4x6 cards and then these 3x4 cards which you can see here. And this is what is considered a mini kit. So it doesn't come with as many cards as a core kit which 
is perfect for me because I don't really um, use all the cards in the core kits or I mean I have been using them um, to make embellishments as you guys have seen in my latest Project Life videos but in general I prefer like little mini kits so I did pick this up because um, it was on sale and I really loved it and I'd been wanting to get it for a while so finally I just gave in because originally when this came out the new Amy Tangerine line was out and so I was choosing between these two, um, that, this one and the Amy Tangerine one and they weren't on sale so I, I picked the Amy Tangerine one but yeah I had to go and pick up this one too so yeah these are the items that I got from Joann's. I almost forgot this one last item that I did end up picking up and I saw these in um, one of Marissa's videos. Hi Marissa! Um, and I just thought these were super cute um, foam thickers and I figured um, I have extra gold foil um, that I bought from um, Deco Crafts or something but either way I figured I would get these because they were just really cute and I figured anything that's gold and foam is basically right up my alley so I picked these up and I thought they were super cute and they're also from the Heidi Swap collection as well and these like I said were also from Joann's. I'm also going to be showing you guys some random things that I've gotten over this course of the February month that are Valentine's themed because I thought you guys would want to see them um, and I will leave any links to any of the craft items where you can get them in the description box below. Um, I got this card from Hallmark and it's from their Studio Ink collection and I actually won uh, a set of these. Uh, Hallmark hooked it up and gave me a set of these and I just thought I'd share them with you because I thought they were really cute. You guys know how much I love um, eclectic type of art so I thought these were just adorable. This one's a, a little ridiculous but I thought it was really cute so I figured I would share these with you guys and what I love about these is that you could totally use these um, as project life cards if you wanted to or cut them down and use them in your planners um, as like the little dividers in between. Even though these are so cute I would have a hard time like cutting them <laughs> but they're super cute and they have like gold foiling on them so I love these and um, I believe you can get these in like actual Hallmark stores. They do not sell these online so you'd have to check out the actual like Hallmark store but if not I would link it below but anything I do have and I do show in this haul I will try to link below wherever I can find it for you guys. I also got this little beauty which is um, from Kate Spade and it's their laptop a 13 inch MacBook like holder and my boyfriend got me this for Valentine's Day because I really really wanted it. I love Kate Spade stuff and her little emblem back here it's super cute and this one had been out of stock actually for like months so when I saw it in stock I knew that I wanted this so yeah I really love this and it's super cute and inside it's like lined with like hot pink it's so pretty so yeah and I just thought that was super cute eat cake for breakfast <laughs> And of course I had to throw in some shameless promotion into my video. Um, this is the stamp set I designed and it's super cute and perfect to use in your planners or project life so definitely if you guys want to support my creative efforts and endeavors so that I can do more craft videos full time then be sure and check out and get this set not to mention that my style stamps has a bunch of awesome stamp sets so you can pick up a few while you're there and um, yeah, I hope that you guys will do that. And for my next items, I also picked up these candy dots from Michelle Kinder as well, and she currently had them on sale, so I don't know how many are left, but I would also check these out. They're the gold candy dots, and I just picked them up because I love gold. <laughs> so I figured I would get these as well, and they're just super cute, so I'm sure I'll be using them in my project life very soon. On a random note, I picked up um, a Japanese screw punch and I'm going to be doing a lot more like DIY type videos very soon in the future. So hopefully you guys like um, crafty DIY videos, which I'm sure you guys do because I do. Um, this is basically a Japanese screw punch that was made in Japan and you kind of have to see that on the actual little ring right here that it says made in Japan because that's how you know it's like an actual like legit Japanese screw punch. And um, it's just, they're the best quality screw punches. Like this can screw through leather and all kinds of stuff, which is why I got it. And um, you can also screw like in the middle of a page um, where your punch, punch can't reach. So I picked this up and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to be using this for. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it yet because um, I wanna kind of make the video 
first and I picked up these two other screws um, which is a 2.0 millimeter bit and a 4.0 millimeter bit and um, it's really easy to just get in there you just kind of unscrew that and take it out and then put it back in there and then screw it back in and then there you go so and then the access stuff comes out of this little hole so you can just I'm going to show you guys just for a second but you just go like this Oh, I didn't do that very good, did I? There we go. It obviously punches through leather, so this is a really strong little punch. Um, it can punch through chipboard as well, and it's really good for making your own books and binding and all kind of stuff like that. So I will also leave a link to the shop where I got this little tool. And I know they sell a lot of uh, screw punches on the market, but... I'm telling you the quality of this Japanese screw punch you can't beat it so I highly recommend getting one like this because you will have it like for the rest of your life so it's kind of worth the little investment so yeah and then I picked it up with the two bits because I figured why not the last thing I picked up is actually this we are memory keepers fuse tool which is super awesome um, I haven't actually tried it yet so I don't know how awesome it is, but it is pretty awesome. I'm going to do a product review on this and let you guys know how I like it, um, show you how I'm using it, and it's really great for project life and um, sealing your pockets closed, so you know how the pockets always fall out of the sleeves and all kinds of stuff like that. From what I understand, um, HSN had the right to sell this first, so I don't know how easy it is to find this online, but I do know a lot of stores are doing pre-orders, so I will try and... Um, find whatever store is doing a pre-order and link it below so that um, you guys can maybe do a pre-order but if not you can always wait till um, I believe the start of April end of March to get this um, because HSN is sold out and I don't believe they're going to be restocking so yeah I cannot wait to do a product review on this for you guys um, and if you want me to do product reviews on things you see in my hauls or how I like them or how I will be using them be sure and leave me comments below and let me know because it really helps me when you guys let me know what you want to hear um, or what you want to see as far as videos and stuff so and it did come with um, these waterfall pocket sleeves as well as a bunch of 12 by 12 sleeves um, that I'm not going to show you guys but um, it was a really good deal and that's why I ended up getting it um, I'm sure eventually the fuse tool will be sold in local box craft stores but I just didn't want to wait and with the sleeves that it came with and everything it was a really good deal so yeah but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying my videos. Um, I will leave links to everything in the description box below. If you haven't checked out all the awesome, my stamp set and all the awesome things you can make with it, I will leave a link to the last video that I made talking about how to create this awesome effect. And yeah, more shameless promotion. Go pick up my stamp set if you get the chance. I really appreciate all of those of you guys have who have gone and supported me and my crafty efforts. You guys are awesome and I love you for it. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my channel to all the new subscribers, and I will have more DIYs and more videos for you guys really soon. Bye!